Hey guys, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming another empties video. Um, I was doing them every other month, but I have been using up a lot of stuff lately and I kind of felt like I wanted to make the videos shorter. So I'm going to start to do them monthly now instead of every other month. So that way they're a lot shorter and there's less product. Um, and I still feel like I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. Um, so before we start really fast, I just want to make a quick, quick little thing. Um, yeah, ignore my face, complete fetus face today. I'm sorry, just complete fetus face. I, um, went for a run this morning and did a bunch of cardio and everything and I'm super hyper. So I thought that I would take that really good mood and just film a couple film this video for you guys um, really fast so I'm wearing my I love New York shirt and full fetus face bun and all so before I continue rambling let's just get so, into the video. These are the pepper white chocolate peppermint M&Ms and like I said in my favorites I never thought that I was like so obsessed with peppermint until I ate these and I was completely obsessed with them I actually, I don't have all the bags in here, but I, from December to now, I have eaten a total of three bags of these because they were just so good and I was obsessed, so I was really thankful that we got three bags for Christmas because that way I was able to eat all three because my parents didn't like them very much. Um, and then the next product I have in here are makeup wipes, <clears throat> and they just ended up being together. These are the Olay Fresh Effects Everything Off Makeup Wipes, and I love these things. I get them in beauty boxes, so, um, yeah, I really, really like these. I might get some. I'm running really, really low on makeup wipes, so I'm going to have to go to the store and just... I might end up picking these up. It just depends on, like, what is, like, on sale and stuff like that. And then my all-time favorite makeup wipes. These are the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelette. And these are the Night Calming ones. I love these so much. Um, and then if you guys were wondering, um, a really good secret to keeping these, like, moisturized and stuff... Um, because this does nothing to help it. Just put this inside of like a plastic bag and that seals and that way it keeps all the moisture in and it's really, really nice because these last me a really, really long time since there's 30 and you don't want to get to the bottom and then you can't use like the last like five of them just because they're dried out. So yeah, put them in a baggie, but I'm in love with these minus the price. Because they're very expensive and I don't like that. And my mom doesn't like that either. Um, next, I finished a lot of bath stuff this um, month. So the first thing, so I've been taking a lot of baths. I don't know why, I've just been obsessed with them. The first thing is the apricot peach uh, mineralizing bath salts. And this is spa therapies. I don't think it's like a brand name or anything. I don't even know where this came from, honestly. But my mom gave it to me, and I am obsessed because I'm the only one who takes baths in my family. So, um, yeah, these were really, really cool. You just put them in your bath, and then they dissolve, and then they, like, moisturize your skin and everything. So, yeah, these were really, really cool, and I have some more of them as well. And then, next bath thing, this is the Coconut Lime Verbana or Verbano, however you say it, bubble bath. This is the one from Bath and Body Works. And I love this stuff so much. Um, it's amazing. Can't go wrong. And my whole family is obsessed with lemon, so um, that was really, really nice. And then I think this is the last bath thing. Um, this is the Bath and Body Works True Blue Spa Bubbling Bath. This is really, really old, and I had, like, a little bit of it left, so I just decided to use it, um, just to get rid of it, honestly, because this is really, really, really old. Like, years old. I'm not even sure how many. And then, um, okay, also, 
another food product that I usually don't, but I am obsessed with these. If you've never tried these before, they're so much better than M&M's. Like, I can't even describe it, honestly. Um, these are the Dylan's Candy Bar Good To Go Mini M&M's, and they taste so good. I don't know if they put, like, extra milk in them, or I don't know what they do that makes them so different from mini, uh, like, actual mini M&M's, but these are so good. Um, they are overpriced, so, like, this little thing was six dollars so they are overpriced but every once in a while um i go and i get some just because i'm obsessed with them so yeah and then next i have some lip products let me try to get all of them this is just um sometimes when i get duos it comes with like this little Gla clear gloss to put over your lipstick and so I have this one that I finished you can't pull it up anymore sadly I love these um, on days that I don't really want to wear color I'll just put this on my lips um, just to give it some moisture if I don't want like a chapstick I'll use this instead so I definitely would rebuy more of these and then this was from a new, um, subscription box. This is the Noya, and it's just a little chapstick, and this was in a cherry flavor. I put this on my nightstand, and I would put it on before I go to sleep, and it would help my lips stay moisturized a lot. So I really, really loved this, and um, once I go through all of my chapsticks and stuff, I might go back and buy it again just all the pens um, and then I have another one of these tells you how much I love them so yeah I have another one of these and it has a little nub left but it was I remember when I was using it, it was being um, temperamental and like falling out and stuff so but yeah I really really love that and then next um, another bath thing this is a shower gel um, essential elements. I got this in a birch box. It smelled like rosemary really good, and I was able to get a couple uses out of this. So, um, if it wasn't so expensive and I didn't have so much Bath and Body Works stuff, I would definitely repurchase this. Um, but it smelled really, really good, and I'm happy that I was able to use it. Um, and then next. I have Next, I finished this Crest Pro Health mouthwash, and if you guys didn't know, I got this for free from um, a company called Biz Agent, and if you don't know what that is, I'll leave a link to it down below. Pretty much, you just take surveys and stuff, and when they feel like you're qualified um, to test something out, they'll send it to you for free, and I've been able to test out some pretty awesome things, and all you have to do is take, like, a survey at the end and review it and tell them, um, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, and the more you review, the more you get, so, um, I was able to test this out, and I'm, like, obsessed with it now because I am not really a mouthwash person just because of how, like, they are and I don't like how harsh they are but this is not harsh at all like it was so good but this stuff's really expensive like I went to the store yesterday I was gonna get another bottle and it's like seven dollars when it's not on sale so I just told my mom that I was gonna wait because I don't want to pay seven dollars for it um but yeah this stuff really really works um and then I also have another bottle of it because my mom found this and there was only like this much left in it so I used it up um, I didn't use the entire thing but this one was the blue one and then this was the clear one which I didn't like as much as the blue one I felt like this one made my mouth so dry oh my gosh like it really cleaned out everything but it made my mouth really really dry so I definitely like the blue one better than the clear one 
that is for sure. And going along with the the teeth theme, I also have a Colgate Max White Max Clean Smart Foam Toothpaste. And yeah, I brush my teeth, guys. Shocker. Um, and then next we have a couple more makeup products, so let me grab these really fast. Okay, so this is a lip product. This is just a random chopstick that I had at my house. It's sunshades, and I left it in the car one day, and it, like, melted, and I thought it was going to be fine, but every time I, like, try to put it on my lips, like, chunks come out and stuff, and I have too many chopsticks to have to, like, worry about one like this being annoying so I'm just gonna throw this out it's whatever it was nice it was super moisturizing um and then I have two sample mascaras these I used um they were both um they're both Lancome Hyper no Noose um mascaras and if you've never seen this is what it looks like. I got these from my mommy. And um, they're pretty old, so they were almost dried out anyway. But I used the last bits of them, and they were really, really nice. But they just don't do anything for my lashes anymore. And that's how I know um, when they're dead. Because I do like drier formulas but this one was just not doing anything more for my lashes so these are definitely that did but while they were working they were really really working they were amazing and then a thing that I'm really really depressed about um I use the, this in a lot of my like get ready with me's and daily um makeup looks and stuff this is the NYC color wheel I bought this online from Amazon, and when I first got it, it kind of broke off, like little piece broke off. Um, it's the Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder, and it had a blush and a bronzer, and I would mix them together, and it would look really, really, really nice on my skin, but I made the mistake, and I bought it online, and right, like I said, right when it came to my door, it was a little piece, and then I brought it with me. And it broke, I brought it with me when I went on a little weekend trip, broke off another piece, and it slowly just started breaking and breaking and breaking and breaking, and it finally broke completely. Wah, wah. So I'm really, really sad. It, I'm going to, when I go to the store, I'm going to try to look for this. Um, I don't know if they have them. I don't know where they have them. I've never seen them before other than online. But I'm definitely going to try to find this because I was obsessed with this stuff. Like, it worked so well for me, minus the fact that it broke all the time. Then, um, this is no shocker. I finished an Icebreaker Duos Watermelon. This has been, like, in every single one of my empties so far. I'm obsessed with these things. Not a shocker. Um, last couple things. I have a candle. This is the Vanilla Bean Noel. This is the mason jar one, and this was, I was obsessed with this. Oh my gosh. Um, and then I, during the semi-annual sale, I don't know where it is. Okay. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, during the semi-annual sale, I found the Vanilla Bean Noel spray, and I got it, and I've been using it literally every day. Because it just smells so good. I'm obsessed with vanilla. And people around me are obsessed with it as well. So it works. And lastly, I have a trio of um, winter candy apple stuff. Again, I'm obsessed with apples. If you did not know that, obsessed with apples. This was in my finished 7 by Spring. This is the winter candy apple um, ultra shade lotion and I finished this. I was obsessed with this. I used every drop of this because I did not want it to go away but now I'm using my Victoria's Secret Apple one and that's almost gone too so it's like no but I loved it to death. I will definitely repurchase it again next year as long as they come out with it 
This is exciting. I finished the Winter Candy Apple Shower Gel, and it looks like there's still more in there, but trust me, it's not coming out. So I'm really, really obsessed with this. I, um, I used it pretty fast because I was also using it a little bit of it each time um, for bubble bath because if you didn't know you can use these as bubble bath too um, they suds up really really well like bubble bath so um, yeah I again obsessed with this and to complete my trio uh, and my last product that I've used up this is the winter candy apple three wick candle and again, I'm really, really sad. This one smelled so good, and it just made my room smell really, really good. Um, and I'm obsessed with the packaging, because if you guys didn't know, I'm obsessed with polar bears. And there's this cute little polar bear on there, and um, the pink trees and everything. I definitely, this is one that I will definitely be um, taking the wax out and keeping, because I am just obsessed with this packaging. So, um... Oh my god, it smells so good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my empties. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you like the fact that I'm going to start doing them monthly versus um, every other month. I feel like it will be a lot better. I feel like I went through so much stuff and I'm so happy because I love going through stuff and getting new stuff. Um, so yeah, make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you like empties videos. And I hope you guys are having a great way great day and have a great weekend and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys